Hey guys, it's me again, Mr. Calypso. Today I'm here to offer you dudes a few tips and tricks for Vintage Story. Some of these may be well known to anyone that plays the game regularly, so if you're a veteran of the game, this video may not be for you. Unless, of course, you just like the sound of my voice. <laughs> Tip 1. Make proper cookware. When starting out, always make both a bowl and a pot. In order to eat from the pot, you're going to need a bowl and you don't want to end up making a big old pot of food only to be unable to eat it. Tip 2. Smith some shears. If you have the resources, make a pair of shears. These shears will double if not triple your stick gathering while also making trees quicker to fell. Tip 3. Get panning. Sift gravel. Sure, sifting gravel may be time consuming and rather boring, but in doing so you can gather some valuable resources. Tool heads, lore books, and occasionally some nice bling can be found from sifting various blocks. Gravel will almost always give you stones and occasionally ore nuggets, whereas bony soil has a much higher chance of giving you tool heads, lore books, and other more uncommon items. Tip 4. Fire safety. Make sure to build your pit kilns away from any flammable objects or structures, as they will start fires. My recommendation would be to build them in an enclosed structure made of either cobblestone or dirt. Speaking of fires, you can put out any small fires with a watering can. However, if the fire gets too out of control, it will quickly become impossible to extinguish. Tip 5. Reaper. Given the resources, I'd wholly recommend smithing a scythe for all your harvesting needs. A scythe will make harvesting grass and crops a cinch. Tip 6. Thermodynamics. When forging multiple objects, such as plates or chains, always use up both ingots in the forge before placing any more in. If you place a cool ingot in the forge with a heated ingot, it will differentiate the heat between the two of them, potentially cooling a ready-to-use ingot. Tip 7. Safety Torch. Always keep a lit torch on your person, either in your inventory or in your offhand. This torch can be used to light any fires or extra unlit torches you will use on your journey. A torch carried in your offhand will also never burn out, however jumping into water will extinguish it. Tip 8. Dig a Cellar. Food will last longer if you place it underground. The deeper you go, the longer the food will last. This is relative to the world height, however, so if your base is on top of a mountain, your cellar will need to be rather deep in order to gain the most benefits. Tip 9. Food Pyramid. Eat a varied diet if possible. Your health bar in Vintage Story is based on the food you consume. Eating a varied diet of grains, fruits, vegetables, and meats will give you the most HP possible, and trust me, it makes a difference. A great way to get a little extra bang for your buck in this regard is to make pies. Pies can be made with meat, vegetables, fruits, and even cheese. Tip 10. Hammer time. Always make at least two hammers. Since hammers are both used in forging and breaking open ore chunks, they see a lot of use. You don't want to be in the middle of an important smithing project and break your hammer. Nothing stings more than having to go back and cast another hammerhead just because of a simple mistake. Well guys, that's all the tips I have for you today. Um, I hope you learned something here, although I kind of doubt it. At least most of the people that I imagine watching this video probably already know most, if not all of these things. But who knows, if you're new to the game, maybe some of these can help you or have helped you in some way. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and yeah.